again, my name is Scott Anderson, and I am here today to talk to you about Miracle Mints. I would first like to thank everybody that uh, came out today, especially our judges. Um, so let, let's look at the problem. What is the problem? Well, you're sitting in your hot tub in your pool, all right, and you look across and you see this nasty hard water buildup, oil and scum line, as well as dead skin on there. How disgusting is that? Absolutely disgusting. So you're, you're asking, you're going to turn back the question to me. Well, what do I use? <laughs> Here's what you use. You use Miracle Mitts, and this is why. So Miracle Mitts is an all-encompassing, one-stop shop. You don't have to go and get anything else. It includes four disposable mitts and a chemical that's absorbed into the mitts all within a, a resealable Ziploc bag. So let's talk about the individual components a little bit. So the, the mitts themselves are made, are made of a material that's very similar to uh, facial makeup removing pads or acne pads. Um, so disposable, which is an important thing. Uh, again, the bag is made in the USA of A, which is always a plus. And um, it's resealable, so you take out one mitt, you use that to clean your hot tub, you throw it away, and you reseal it, and you, can, you have three more uses. Um, and then the chemical. This chemical will pack a punch, and it will clean the hot tub. That is my guarantee. Um, but here's the thing. It's also green. That's the nice thing about it. It's EPA and Green Seal approved, and what does that mean? That means that it has reduced human toxicity and, envir and environmental toxicity, which is what we want. Oops, uh, it's, it's not, um, it's non-corrosive to the skin, which is also a good thing. So let's look at some of the competition. What's out on the market right now? So if you were to go out and buy a hot tub, you'd have to buy chemicals in a bottle already, as well as get a rag or a, a mitt that is the one, the yellow one on the left is, is specifically um, sold up at Cal Spas in Minneapolis, and I, I um, have looked at that. Um, but you still gotta buy a bottle of chemical to clean your hot tub. So prior to getting into your hot tub, you have to go grab the bottle, you gotta find your rag, your sponge, and then you gotta get in there and clean your hot tub. Mir Miracle Mints is so easy, you can pull it out of the bag and clean it while you're in your hot tub, and guess what, I, I'm sure a few of you are parents, you can even have your kids clean the hot tub with it while they're in there too, so what's better than that? Um, the, the chemical that Miracle Mints uses is also um, non-foaming, which if you're familiar with hot tubs cosmetics, you don't want foaming, it's just kind of a, a nasty thing to have in there. Um, that's why you wouldn't be able to use a product such as uh, the Magic Eraser on your hot tub. So when you use Miracle Mints, this is what you get. You get a clean hot tub and you're a happy owner. Um, with that being said, you can clean the hot tub with water in or with water out, and that's nice. Um, depends if you're, if you're available or not. So with that being said, there is a product on the market that was very similar to this that was discontinued. Sarah and Vince Wepker, owners of Hot Spring Spas and Pool Tables 2, have not purchased a replacement product for that because it wasn't, it, nothing out there is as good as this. They wanted an all-encompassing product. Um, and they even want something that's going to work better. With that being said, uh, they've also committed uh, to selling Miracle Mitts in their stores, and they have five stores total across North Dakota and Minnesota. But I don't want to stop there different marketing strategies, strategies that I'm going to employ. I'm going to create custom cardboard displays to put the packets of Miracle Mints in, and when you buy a hot tub, the cardboard box with the Miracle Mints is sitting right next to the hot tub, and you're going to get one of those right when you purchase your hot tub. Um, that's been a proven marketing strategy. Mark Bergman, my mentor, has helped me out with that one a lot. Um, as well as Amazon. Uh, I would love to get, tap into their national distribution and international distribution to get this on uh, and ramp this up to a larger scale um, company. As well as why not have people who are the professionals cleaning hot tubs and pools uh, using the product as well, which that's going to increase the volume of product that's moving through as well. All right, so let's define a little bit of what a unit is. A unit is, is four bags, or one bag with four mints and the chemical included. Um, one unit is, cost of production is about $3. In the beginning, it'll be $3. With larger volumes, that'll go down. Um, so we're looking at profit margins of about seven to eight, eight to $7, eight further as we go out, um, go on with larger volumes of production. As well as um, re the, the cost that, that I have with that is based on a six times retailer selling price. So I've already accounted into a 50% margin for the retailers themselves. So let's look at projections. So 
in order to start Miracle Mints, I need $10,000. With that being said, that includes logo bag, uh, logo design for bags and, um, and the logo itself. Um, it includes the mitts, the bags, and chemical all-inclusive. With that being said, um, that'll produce 4,000 units. And those 4,000 units, if I were able to sell 4,000 of those, that'd be a net of $22,000 uh, profit. And um, that's, just the, that's just the starting point. Uh, Sarah and Vince Webker in the past two years have sold 1,200 hot tubs. Even if I was able to get um, Miracle Mints out to 600 of those hot tub owners, that's still 6,000 net or total profit, which is what we want. That's, that's a good market. And I also, uh, I also have connections with the regional rep which, uh, for Hot Springs, which is another way to uh, expand Miracle Mints out. There's 800 uh, dealers for Hot Springs spas. So that's just one, deal, one sort of hot tub brand that, that will be sold. Um, there's multiple out there as well. Um, so where's Miracle Mints at today? I have the, the gloves, or the mitts, the bags, and the chemicals all lined up, ready to go, distributors. Um, I'm just, it's more so a financial investment at this point. So with $5,000 today, I would be able to buy all the raw material for Miracle Mets and start producing prototypes. Um, I, I, would, I wanna make sure that it works and test the product before I uh, send it out into the market because if I wouldn't use it myself, um, I won't sell it to you. Uh, with that being said, yesterday I sent off paperwork to establish an LLC. This is a very important uh, step for me in establishing a brand name through a trademark. Um, I'm currently working with an intellectual property lawyer up in the cities to establish a trademark as well, which is, uh, I'm excited about that. I'm talking to him on Monday. Um, 99 Designs is what I will be using to design the logo um, and bags as well. Um, just a good way to tap into that. Um, so, I've committed my, myself to two gap years prior to going to medical school to establishing Miracle Mints. And um, the, again, the $5,000 would really uh, put, put Miracle Mints on the market. Um, as soon as June 1st, or July 1st is what I'm looking to, to have this product out on the market. Um, and, and really, truly, if you want a good old fashioned American product that's really going to clean your hot tub and make clean and make leisure not a chore you know what you need to do you need to buy miracle mitts thank you <laughs>
Um, and it's going to be one of those kind of things, um, talking with my mentor, uh, you got to go and say, all right, here's everything and give them a product and a display to say, I'm not, I'm making this easy for you. you all you have to do is set this next to a hot tub and let it sell itself. You don't have to worry about re rearranging the shelf space in your chemicals that are already lined up. So. Hi everyone, let's hear it for Scotty.